Dustin Wankoff here, product specialist with Agland. Today we're going to go through our model year 20 combine product support video. To set up our combine and documentation, we want to go to setup in the bottom left hand corner on location and in here we can select our client, farm and field. If you don't see your field name in here, add new field and type it in manually. As well, a setup file can be sent from the My John Deere Operations Center. Next, we will select the crop type that we are harvesting, then the variety. If your variety is not listed here, you can go add variety and enter it in. If you have a variety locator file, you can load it here. Next, we will go to our equipment header settings and here we will see which type of header is connected to our combine, our header width. We want to make sure this is if we are using a belt pickup that our header width is the same as our track spacing was on our swather. Get your working width reminder. Here we can set our work recording stop height, this is when our documentation will turn on and off. Minimum reel speed if we're using auto, auto reel. Here we have our all of our sensitivities for our front end equipment, our auto control, and then here we want to make sure that the appropriate settings are turned on for the header that we have. Resume preferences can be turned on and off here. Next, we will go to Harvest Setup, and go to Current Settings, and here we will see all of our default combine settings. As we start harvesting and making changes throughout the field, once we are happy with those, we can save a preset. Click on Preset, Save Preset, and give it a name. This will allow us to always come back to those settings if we need. Our grain loss monitor number is set here. Once we are happy with the losses coming out of the back of the combine, we can hit set to current and it will bring our grain loss monitors into the green on our PDU corner post. You can also manually change these numbers on your own. Now we will go through some of the automated features on the combine. On the bottom of your shortcut bar or through your main menu and applications, click on Combine Advisor or in model year 18 and 19 S700 series combines, it will say ICA2. And here you can see our optimization and our three automation functions. First, in our harvest optimization, we can click on this. And in here, we can go through different scenarios of the combine as we are harvesting. Say we are finding separator loss out the back of our combine, we can click separator loss and the severity of it. We will say today that it is moderate. It will now walk us through a series of recommendations to help with our separator loss. First one here, increase our threshing speed. Next would be decrease threshing clearance and so on. If this is the setting that you would like to do, you can hit apply. It'll then speed up your rotor by 20 RPM and monitor the change. 
It'll then tell, alert you and tell you if it's got better or worse and if it's affected any other areas of the combine. When you are doing these steps, if you do not complete it, it's always good to remember to hit stop. Once we've got our combine set and we are happy with our grain loss coming out the back of the combine, our productivity and our grain tank sample, we can then turn on our auto maintain. Turning on auto maintain, we can hit set performance target and that will take a snapshot of the combine and start to learn what we are looking for. Again, a reminder, we do not want to do this until we are happy with our grain loss, grain quality, and productivity out of our combine. Model year 20 and newer combines, you will see a progress bar move across the screen as the target is set. After the target is set, it will say here that it is, that it is active. As you are harvesting, if you do find that your grain tank sample improves or losses improve from what are initially set, you can always come in and set a new target and give the combine something new to look for. Clicking on live camera, you will be able to scroll through your clean grain camera with your grain analysis on, look at your tailings, or both on a split screen here. Underneath history, this is where we can see our productivity of the combine. We can look at bushels per hour, acres per hour, and it will show us our changes. The green and white differential line is our baseline. Anything in the green is an improvement, anything in the white will be a disimprovement and we'll see the combine start to make a change. Under active, this is where we'll see active settings being changed. This will be coming from combine, both combine advisor and active train adjustment. And underneath completed, we'll see a list of the last completed actions from the combine in the last 24 hours. Once our auto maintain has been acquired and set, we can then turn on our active terrain adjustment. By turning this on as we go up and down hills, our chaff or sieve and fan will speed up, slow down, and open and close as required. By clicking on the side here, we can, we can set our tuning. How much we want our chaffer to open and close, how much we want our sieve to open and close, and our cleaning fan speed adjustments. These are what our typical default settings are. In peas, sometimes it is a good idea to turn your chaffer off, as when you are going down hills, it doesn't close itself off too far. Our last piece of automation will be Harvest Smart. Here in our model year 20 combines and newer, you can see that you can manage your target with grain loss. In here, you can set your max speed limit that you want the combine to travel, how aggressive you want the changes to be in changing conditions, and our max engine power target. We can then turn Harvest Smart on and start harvesting. As we are harvesting, it will acquire a new target. To enable Harvest Smart, all we need to do is press our number two or three on our hydro handle, and to disengage, number one or pulling back on the handle will disengage or pause Harvest Smart. Next, for active yield, we will go to our grain tank handling icon beneath our display, go to yield calibration, and if active yield is enabled with one of our five accepted crops, we can select tap to open. Active yield will work with wheat, canola, barley, corn, and soybeans. If we are using an unsupported crop, active yield will default to off. In the active yield screen here, we can see our crop type that we're harvesting, the number of accepted loads we've had, and the last accepted load. The quality of the accuracy of active yield. Before making a correction with active yield, it's best to make sure we let the combine get at least 12 accepted loads before we make any corrections. To make a correction to active yield, we will go to our advanced setup arrow, 
and we can enter a positive or negative correction in here. The correction will be a measured weight out of a scale minus our combine weight divided by the measured weight times 100. With active yield it is also very important to make sure that our moisture correction is set properly. To change the moisture correction we can enter a positive or negative offset here to set the combine closer to an actual bench test. In our residue management, we can access it by selecting our spreaders beneath our display. Within our residue management, if you have a premium chopper, you can here change your chop to drop door. To do this, your separator must be turned off. We are now in windrow mode, dropping straw and spreading chaff. Here, we can change our spread width as our conditions change and on the premium tailboards we can also change our spreader speed. Model year 20 and newer combines have an optional in-cab knife bank adjustment. The knife bank adjustment will also be saved with your crop settings. Separator veins, standard or advanced, we recommend harvesting in, sta in the standard position. Underneath direction, this will be our spreader offset. If we do have a GPS installed, we will have auto swap here. Once the combine makes a 180 degree turn, it will move the offset automatically for you, or you can manually hit the swap icon. To see our to harvested totals, we can click on our 1, 2, 3 in the bottom right hand corner of our buttons. And here we will see our field totals, area, time worked, fuel, moisture, etc. Underneath load totals, here we will see a history of our load totals for every time that the unloading auger was engaged and then disengaged. Our average moisture, our dry yield, and how many pounds. Do remember that if you don't completely empty out your hopper while unloading, it does not know how much weight was left in the hopper. To access our calibrations, go to menu in the bottom right hand corner, machine settings, calibrations and procedures. Here we can see all of our header calibrations and our combine calibrations. Our chassis pitch calibration is very important as it should be calibrated with each different head that is installed on the combine. This sensor works with active terrain to tell the combine where flat level ground is. If we need to do any concave leveling, mass flow vibration calibration, this should be done multiple times throughout the year as a combine gets dirtier throughout the season. This will measure the vibration of the combine to help the mass flow sensor become the most accurate. Moisture sensor calibration, again this should be done multiple times throughout the season to make sure that it is reading accurately. You can also get to active yield through yield calibration. Thanks for taking the time to watch this um, today. If you like it, remember to subscribe to our channel and like our videos.